The physicality in AFL footy is, um, is extreme. You know, the ball could be bouncing out of the stoppage and you've got a guy coming straight at you and all you want is to win that footy. You've got your guy coming the other way who wants to do exactly the same thing and you have collisions all the time. Blokes will use their arms, use their legs, they'll push you, they'll bump you. It's funny, you're in the game, your adrenaline's going, you don't really feel it too much. You, as soon as you stop, you're in the rooms after the game, you can't move. It was around 2016 where my form had probably dropped off a little bit. And at the same time, there was the, the change in, in the game of bigger bodies, bigger midfielders coming in, and they were the ones taking over. You know, Fife, Dangerfield, Cripps now, all these guys are huge. I'm not their size. Like, I'm 183, they'd be, you know, above 190. At that time, I spoke with Ian, our high performance manager. I said, this is what's going on. How can I take my game to another level? How do I challenge? myself to stay up with these with these guys and we sort of spoke about going over to, to Santa Cruz in America and there was a guy there by the name of Austin who did a lot of movement training. Oh, <laughs> he taught me how to use my body better. It was more about being able to transfer the power that I did have in a more efficient way. So basically if I'm in a, in a certain stance when I'm at a stoppage how can I then move that person away with not just using my arms or not just using my chest, you know, using the whole body. I think because of all that, recovery becomes so important. So the water in here is probably about 13 or 14 degrees. It is going to be pretty cold, but I jump in here um, every night before I go to bed. It does shock the body, but that's good for recovery. And once I get in here for about 10 minutes, I then jump in the sauna and that's usually my recovery. What I've learned the most is how much more I need to put back in the body. It's almost as much as you take out, you've got to put double back in. This is what I've been living on for the last 14 years to keep me going. My Pilates reformer. You can get pretty sweaty <laughs> and gross using this machine, depending on how hard you want to go. If you just want to go basic and just have a little light session, you put a light spring on and it, it can be quite good sort of recovery method. You know, I'd look at it now, I'm probably playing the best footy I ever have but I don't see it as the work I've done this year. I've seen it as the work I've done over the course of three, four years. The one that probably doesn't get spoken about a lot is the mental side of it. And a lot of players need a release from AFL and that is a huge part of recovery. For me, it's surfing. As soon as I get in the water, my head is clear. Because it's not just about being able to play footy, it's about having a better life. So you can wake up in the morning, have a really good routine, you're eating healthy, you're, you're going for a walk. These sort of things are, are things you can put back into your body, into your world that just makes life so much, so much happier. <laughs>